Good evening. So today I will talk about time management and it's one of the most important topics that affects each one of us. Uh, every human being uh, uh, has uh, time within his positions and he has to utilize it in a way that can help him to achieve his goals. There are different techniques in terms of how you can uh, control your time and how you can uh, utilize it in, the, in a productive manner. However, it's always a challenge uh, for many people, especially living in a dynamic environment or especially living in an uncontrolled environment. Or sometimes you hear about uh, different events. Sometimes you hear about different things and you are not sure what you will be doing at this time or what you will be doing at this day and so on. So to be able to control your time is one of the most important aspects, whether it was in project management or it was in a productive cycle or it was in uh, your life. I will talk about some of the techniques that I use to control my time. And uh, these techniques are associated with uh, daily slots, weekly slots, and month, uh, monthly slots, and then uh, the yearly goals. So you should start your year with having a group of goals and you should always you have some kind of vision and this vision should should have some kind of goals and you should have motivation to achieve these goals and in order to achieve these goals your time will be utilized in a in, in the productive cycle for achieving these goals so uh, you put uh, a, a goal for, it could it can be a project and you put a vision for this project then you put a, a, a schedule a time plan for when you will be able to achieve the project uh, targets or when you finish the project or when you can achieve your goals or objectives and so on so you start by uh, by dividing your day into 12 slots why I think dividing your day to 12 slots is a very feasible way. So your day starts at 6 o'clock and ends at 12 o'clock. Between 6 and 7.30, this is one time slot. And between 7.30 and 9, this is the second time slots, and so on until you reach 12 o'clock at night. The giving uh, an hour and a half time slot cycle is very feasible for most people, even for uh, let me say for uh, very young learners or uh, or kids in schools because even the small uh, lecture at school is around 45 minutes to one hour so usually in order to produce something that, that that has some value you need some time or to spend your time doing something that uh, at the end of the day or at the end of the let me say at the end of the slot you will feel that you have achieved something you need to spend a little bit of time and i think giving it an hour and a half is a decent amount of time in order for you to control of course if the, the more sophisticated you are the more uh, advanced you are in time management you will be able to control your time even to the la to the minute or maybe to the second but feasibly for me i think 12 slots per day is a very good target. And I would say you start with six slots. Each slot is three hours. Then you go to the 12 slots because the 12 slots is more complicated. As the day goes on, you always ask yourself what you have done in this, in the first slot, what I have done in the second slot, what I have done on the third slot. The design of this slots is based on six hours of sleeping. Some people sleep more than six hours. I am one of the guys who actually like and maybe need to sleep more than six hours, maybe I need to sleep eight to 10 hours, but you always try to uh, um, put a six hours sleep uh, sleep as, as your target. And maybe you really need the seven hours, seven to eight hours to sleep, but if you can sleep a few days, six hours, and the other days you sleep eight hours, and one day maybe you sleep 10 hours, then at least you are in a much better position to control your time and your sleeping time is uh, important so some people struggle in terms of sleeping and i am one of those so when i want to come and sleep at 12 o'clock i struggle to sleep directly so i spend some time before sleeping some people when they just put themselves in the bed they just sleep so this was designed based uh, on a six hours uh, of sleeping between 12 and six o'clock in the morning now 
Weekly targets is very important. So thinking about your weekly targets, that's the first week, the second week, the third week, the fourth week, and uh, uh, numbering these weeks. So you say, in this week, I will be doing this and this, and in this week, I will be doing this and this, gives you the chance to build even a bigger uh, picture about your goals. So number your weeks by saying, this week will be the week of, uh, if for example, and the good example is about losing weight. So if you are, let me say is 90 and you want to lose your 85, you say, this is the uh, 89 week. This is the 88 week. This is the 87 week. This is the 86 week. And this is the 85 week. So you, you, you give uh, yourself a time plan of five weeks, losing one kilogram every week. And you, uh, you check your target every week. And in your day, you put one slot or maybe two slots for exercise, and you maybe you put one slot for diet, for maybe cooking or something like that. So now, your daily time, your daily slots is associated with your weekly goals, and your weekly goals is associated with your long-term vision and with, with even with uh, your long-term targets. So this is how you structure your time. So. It's very important that you always try to control your time from the environment around you. A lot of distractions will be happening around you. A lot of, uh, let me say, a lot of people might try to even to uh, invade or take part of your time. And it's really a huge skill. And you learn it by yourself and you learn it with, li with life to be able to be independent and focused on uh, achieving your targets rather than spending your time here and there without uh, uh, without without full control from your side. So it's very important that we have full control over our time. This is not um, this is not an invite to let me say to be aggressive to others, or this is not an invite to try to uh, tell others that they are not welcome within your life. But it's a way for us to be in a, in, a, in, in, a, in a more control over our, our time. So more control means more broad, uh, productivity, and more productivity hopefully means more prosperity. So this is uh, the key elements that you should be thinking about, that my life is a productive life, my li I will be living a prosperous life, and I will be a productive human being. And based on that, I can't allow my time to be uh, divided here and there, my time uh, worth uh, uh, respecting, and my time, uh, my time worth, uh, let me say, utilizing in a way to, that I can that that I can use to achieve my targets. Now we talked about the daily slots. We talked about the uh, weekly slots. We need to talk about the monthly and the yearly uh, vision and goals. So now you have numbered your week. You understand your time slots, uh, your daily slots, but maybe sometimes uh, like the uh, losing weight is a target. Yeah, and this target would not happen in a week or two or three and sometimes even months. So you need to put this target within the month cycle. So, so you can name this month. This is the month of uh, losing five kilograms. This is the second. The, uh, the second month is the sec second second kilograms or maybe this is the month of video production or the this month is the month of taking courses or this is the month of learning project management this month of uh, about uh, doing courses and sometimes you need to put yearly targets to a, a level that sometimes you can achieve degrees so sometimes a master's degree might take one to two years or, or more or four years if you are doing it part-time so you have you put the, I will finish my master within four years, and you say this year is the master year, this year is the achievement year, this year is the project management year, this year is the promotion year, this year is the let me say is uh, is is the, uh, the family year, this year is the relationships year, this re year is the travel year, this year is uh, whatever you like to put in your life. So if you like traveling, it's okay that you put one year of traveling, you say, I'll travel every one week or every three weeks, even if it's domestic travel. So if you are traveling within your uh, country, you say, in this year, I would be traveling around every city and I would be writing articles about it. 
or in this year I will be meeting as many people as I can and you uh, and you try to build your relationship with your people and you say this is the relationship here and I think giving a focus years on a particular uh, goal help you to achieve more out of life so that's uh, my advice is you have yearly goals you have a vision yearly goals monthly goals and you link it with the week with number of weeks and with time slots and the time slots that i have found the most practical is around 12 slots per day they help you to be in control of every 90 minutes which i think is a decent amount of time either to do something with significant value or to do nothing and at the end of the day you your best your your uh your uh, top achievement will be actually to have a, a, a great 12 slots. So if you have a great 12 slots, will be something that you always browse off. I have utilized the time of the day. I did not waste my time and I have utilized my time in a productive way that helped me to achieve my targets, that helped me to achieve my goals. We ha that's my experience about time management. And it's always helped if you have a tool that help you track these slots and that help you track your day. I use my notebook, sometimes you use a software, sometimes you use a calendar. A mix of all can even be more practical. It depends on how sophisticated you become with time and how sophisticated you have you has become with life. And uh, But the most important thing is that you become uh, someone who is in full control over his time. That has been said. Uh, I would like to hear about your thoughts about time management. We talked about like dividing slots and we talked about uh, giving things. Sometimes you need to spend quality time and there is one thing about relationships and how you spend time with relationships and sometimes uh, spending time with people cannot be controlled. Yes, this is uh, true. It's very hard for uh, sometimes to grasp the full emotion out of a conversation uh, while you are timing it. So for example, you are speaking with someone and they tell you you have one hour, you can tell me whatever you want. And it, sometimes it come across as a repulsive or it come across, I'm not willing to listen to you. You are not welcome here. And this is always the dilemma. This is why people always become emotional. And this is why people always try to, uh, try to, let me say, to talk more to each other or to take less to each other because they are very much controlled by emotions. You should, as much as you can, make a balance between utilizing the time, of, utilizing your time, and being emotional towards others. But you should always do this balance in both sides. It's not a, uh, you can, uh, let me say, you can give someone else a slot or two slots over you, uh, of your time because you want to, and you can just tell them that maybe this, uh, this day we don't uh, spend nine hours talking or we don't spend six hours talking it depends on the person it depends on who you are but the most important thing that you stay in control over your time so when people become emotional and they want to take to talk more or you become emotional and you need to talk more or you need to spend more time with people it's about a balance sometimes you say okay we give more slots to people sometimes you say no we give less slots to people it's your choice and it's your choice about building healthy, balanced relationships that can uh, can pro uh, let, let me see, can provide you with a supportive image and with a friendly image, but on the same time can help you to be in control over your time. That's one issue that everybody is talking about. Maybe we can't finish on time. Maybe we can't finish the conversation, or let me say, grasp the whole become emotionally satisfied with the slot or so on so it's a, you should always uh, make a decision make a make a, a compromise and with time you become uh, more efficient and with time you understand what time slots do you, give, do you give to others and what time slots that you don't give to others and that's one issue and uh, about productivity and time it's not necessarily if you if you give let me say three slots for a particular activity that you will finish it within three slots it depends on your level of skill it depends on the environment it depends on your concentration so even the more you improve your productive cycle within the time slots 
is something that you should always be looking at. That was my talk for today. I will wish you uh, a great evening and we'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Have a great night.